The thing that makes this really exciting for us from the avionics world is that this is the first time since the shuttle days that we're implementing a whole new avionics design that we're testing for the first time with the integrated static motor firing. The avionics boxes are essentially for the SLS configuration in two se sections of the, the vehicle. Uh, on the booster, they're in the uh, forward skirt and then in the aft skirt. So in the QM1 configuration, we have a rack that contains all the forward skirt avionics boxes and then mounted on one of the walls underneath the booster. So there are uh, four booster control distribution units and they control the actuators. So then we have ISCs which um, control the pyrotechnic events. We have two of those and then we have two HPUCs that control the hydraulic power unit. The reason that we have twos and fours of things is for fault tolerance. Unlike the shuttle program, all our power now is self-contained within the booster element itself. So we have multiple batteries that are separated by strings that are independent of each other. So we are running off of a redesign of a heritage battery and that testing is underway right now, which is to qualify for the new environments of the SLS rocket. QM1 is going to be the opportunity to bring everything together in an integrated booster for the first time. So it's really exciting to know that, to be a part of that and, and know that that's all going to come together and have the opportunity to do that on a test stand before we fly.